Damn, what happened to you? You're so fat, the dress looks like it's about to burst. I feel bad for your dress. <laughs> Excuse me? Who is this? It's me, Henry. Do you remember me? Your ex-husband. What? Henry? How can you contact me? I blocked you. Oh, I got a new number. Jeez. It's been what? Five years? I'm surprised to see my ex-wife who I dumped for infertility. It's crazy how you become so fat. <laughs> Only the face still kind of looks like how it used to be. But I could barely recognize you. <laughs> Look at you. You're so huge. Shut up. I'm going to block you again. Oh, come on, chill. What the hell are you doing here? I don't think a fancy place like this suits you, considering how you look now. I'm here to attend a wedding. Oh, really? Actually, I'm here to attend my friend's wedding, too. What? Are we in the same venue? Yeah, I guess we are attending the same wedding. I never thought I'd meet my ex-wife at a friend's wedding. <laughs> I'm invited on the groom's side. What about you? I'm on the bride's side. She's my co-worker. What? You work for Greendale Company now? Wow, that's a surprisingly good company to work for, isn't it? I had an image that Greendale Company had only elite and smart employees. But I didn't realize that even an ugly fat woman like you can work there. Feels like the standard has dropped. <laughs> it's none of your business where I work. What do you mean? I'm your sister's husband now, remember? It's my responsibility to update my wife, who has been estranged and can no longer see her family. What are you talking about? You betrayed me and cheated on me with my sister. Same as Marina. She stole her own sister's husband. She deserved to be estranged, and I have no sympathy for her. To be honest, talking to you like this makes me sick. Say whatever you want. I'll make sure to tell my wife how unbelievably fat you've become. <laughs> I'm sure Marina will burst into laughter. Marina has always been prettier and skinnier than you. Crazy how you've become so fat. I can't believe you are Marina's sister. You are so insensitive as always. Can you please stop messaging me? I will never forgive you and Marina. It was such a crazy coincidence today, but I really have no business with you and I don't want to talk to you. Oh, really? You're ugly and fat, and on top of that, you're so snobbish. Whatever. The reception is starting. Please stop bothering me now. Okay, my bad. Oh, by the way, I became a father. A long-awaited child that I would never have been able to have if I had stayed married to you. Moreover, it was a boy. My mom was so happy that our first child was a boy. She praised Marina for giving birth to a son. And she can't stop spoiling my son. My mom and Marina are in a really good relationship now. If only you could have had children. You wouldn't have been disliked by my mother, you know? If you can't have kids after five years of marriage, of course, she hates you. Well, it was hard back then because we couldn't afford the alimony and all that. But then, luck came a year after the divorce when my father received my grandfather's inheritance. Now, we're actually living a good life with more money than we need. <laughs> So, 
What I'm trying to say is, my life is in easy mode now that I'm divorced. Compared to that, look at you. <laughs> you are fat as hell. Look at your dress, it's too tight. What's with that huge belly? What the hell did you eat to get such a huge belly? I couldn't stop laughing when I saw your belly from the side. <laughs> Damn, it's so huge. I'm trying really hard not to laugh right now. For real, how can you go out in public looking like that? We can't do anything about your ugly face, but you should at least lose weight. Did you give up to take care of yourself after I dumped you? Seriously, it's really hard to hold my laugh. Hey, why are you not replying? I can see your phone on the table. Pick it up and check my messages. Or you can't say anything back because it's all true. See, this is what I'm talking about. You are so snobbish. Man, you're seriously an unattractive mess both inside and out. <laughs> It was the right decision to divorce a woman who's evolving into such a damn fat monster. <laughs> Seriously, Marina is completely different from you. <laughs>
That's why I won't be in touch with you anymore. Please leave me alone, okay? Bye. You are pregnant? How did that happen? You weren't infertile? There's no way you can have a child. I know you are lying. You're just using pregnancy as an excuse for being fat. We got divorced because you were infertile. And now you're telling me you're pregnant with another man? No way, that's impossible. Hey! Reply to me! Chloe, listen to me. The child Marina gave birth to, it wasn't mine. Actually, I caught Marina cheating on me. So I had a DNA test done for the child and me. It turns out the child isn't mine. Damn it. Why did this have to happen? Well, now that it's come to this, there's no time to mess around. I confronted Marina with the DNA test result and divorce papers. By the way, I'm still living in the house where I used to be with you, along with my parents. Marina and the kid are also in the house, but I never talk to them. I'm mostly with my parents, you know? So now, I just need to figure out a way to finalize the divorce. And when that happens... Um... No. This is something I should tell you when everything is done, and I feel fine. Please, wait for me. Chloe. I did it. I got divorced from Marina. I got alimony too. Well, she doesn't have much money, so it's just a tiny amount, but still. Even so, I emptied out what little savings she had. It feels so good. <laughs> hey, with this money, let's go on a second honeymoon. And this time, let's have a honeymoon baby. Stop it, it's creepy. Huh? I was planning to ignore you, but I decided to respond since it might encourage you to be more persistent. First of all, my husband is right next to me, so you should know that he's also reading your messages. What? Husband? You saw him at the wedding four months ago, remember? He was sitting next to me, the president of a company. What? How? Don't tell me you're going to leave me for that guy. No, no, I won't let you do that. You're going to marry me again. I know you still love me, right? No way. Since it seems like your idiotic brain can't remember, I'll say it again. I'm already remarried. Moreover, I'm currently pregnant with my husband's child. So why are you assuming we'll get back together? Don't you think it's fate? What are you talking about? We met again at a wedding. That's when I found out that you weren't actually infertile. And then, I found out Marina was cheating on me. Plus, I found out I wasn't the father of the child. The universe is telling us to get back together. So, we should be married again. Hey, can I ask you one thing? What is it? You haven't considered the possibility of being infertile yourself? What? Me? Why would I be infertile? Infertility is only a problem for women, right? What? Are you seriously saying that? Of course I am. The problem of not having children always lies with the woman. It's not possible for me, a man, to be infertile. I didn't know you were this much of an idiot. Why don't you go look it up on the internet right now? See if there are any cases of infertility in men. What? This can't be true. There are cases where the man is the cause. So I'm the one. 
I'm not 100% sure, but... During the five years that I was married to you, we were unable to have children. Even after I divorced you and Marina got married immediately, she didn't get pregnant for five years. In other words, ten years in total. I think it's obvious. That's true, but... What? No way. This is just my opinion, so if you want to know for sure, you should get yourself tested or something. Oh no. Anyway, I have absolutely no intention of starting over with you. What? Oh, I got it, I got it. You're mad that I called you fat, right? What? I'm sorry about that. I didn't know you had a body capable of bearing children. If I knew, I wouldn't have thought you were fat. I only said that because I didn't know. I didn't mean to make you angry. Yes, I got mad when you insulted my body. But I don't really care about that now. Your ignorance and insensitivity disgust me. I would never remarry a childish man like you. How about I will be a better man after we get married? You know, they say a man never forgets his boyhood heart, right? That kind of man is more attractive. I know you feel that way too. No way. You are so pathetic, do you know that? In the first place, I'm already remarried and pregnant with my current husband's child. I can't help but wonder how you got the idea that we could get back together. That's because I found out you were fertile. I want you to bear my child. Are you serious? Did you read what I said? I'm pregnant with my current husband. But... After the baby is born, you can get a divorce and just give the kids custody to the father. That's in the way. What did you say? It's a good idea, right? That way we can start a relationship over from scratch. Let's do it. I can't believe you. I don't think an insane person like you should have kids. Huh? Why not? The child you're carrying now is unwanted, right? I know you accidentally got pregnant while you are still in love with me. You got dumped by me and had no chance but to remarry that guy, right? You don't have to put up with that anymore. Let's get back together and be happy. Right, Chloe? Please, reply to me. Jesus. I'm serious, come on. Let's start over. I can't believe I was married to a guy like you. It was a huge mistake in my life. I feel disgusted just texting with you. Don't contact me ever again. Bye. After that, I blocked his number. Talking to my incredibly insensitive ex-husband just makes me feel sick, and I don't want it to affect the child in my belly. From then on, I decided to leave all dealings to my husband. I know my sister who divorced my ex-husband will contact me at some point. As expected, I received a message from my parents that my sister is asking for help in raising the child. It seems my sister thought she could rely on us financially because my husband is the president of a company. But my husband took a strong stand and turned my parents and my sister away. A few months later, I safely gave birth to a healthy baby boy. After that, we moved to a new peaceful environment. I heard that while I was focusing on childcare, it seemed my ex-husband had resigned from his job. After divorcing my sister and realizing he might be infertile, he apparently became mentally unstable. Struggling to secure a new job, he turned to overeating and excessive drinking as coping mechanisms. Consequently, he gained a significant amount of weight. Now he leads a life filled with misery.